When I was um, a very young girl, I mean, from about the age of seven or eight, um, I had this teacher who introduced us to a lot of the poets in both Irish and English, and we would do poems like Misha Rafter and Phila Londoka Sisgra, or we would do Kilkash, you know, Cadi Yenamich Fast the Ganaimant. And um, she also did, you know, the English speaking poems like uh, Patrick Kavanagh. She was the first person to show me Patrick Kavanagh poems. And uh, it was one of those poems, I remembered it for a long time, um, Canal Bank Walk. And that was really the first time that I visited the canal in Dublin. And it wasn't until years later that I saw the real canal. And uh, it came as a great surprise to me because I was thinking of, you know, leafy with love banks and poor redemption for me. And uh, it's not quite uh, the romanticised uh, canal that I had in mind. And it, I think it took me a while to connect the two. And this is a poem a little bit about that, and it's also a little bit about kind of friends I had at the time there, and uh, my own feelings about being <laughs> maybe inadequately romantic about things. Canal Bank Moonwalk. I want the sky to be monumental, but it won't cooperate. Better to think about the moon to stalk the walk of moon talk. Once you pointed to its round orb, said it's a mystery for lovers. I laughed, but you never meant to be funny. I don't dance like Michael Jackson or no, like Kavanagh, who would have understood the way you spoke, always filling each syllable with meaning. You saw the magnitude in each blade of grass, those clumps of green hulking with metaphors. I sit on the bench where you said goodbye, the place where you first told me your sadness, and we watched a furled swan unravel as if to crack our skulls. You said something about beauty or transience. I saw only its hard beak, capable of bone break. Back then, I must have been scared of everything, fear of swans mostly and dying without saying anything. As for the canal, in all its borrowed romance, you pointed to our trapped reflection, said, we're stuck in a moment of time. And I cursed your brain magic. I felt nothing, no shimmer, just a watery fish grey full of Coke cans and slouched condoms. After you left, I started to see others, doctors, bankers, anyone without a thought for the canal. I keep their kisses, they don't make me feel insignificant. They see the dead water that I see, their scarves are thick and braced for winter. They all have warm skin, not like your cold hand pointing at the moon.